I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 301, where I'm going to show you how to aggregate indirectly related matrices and fix the pound size error with a silent function within Quantrix Modeler. In episode 300, I showed you how I would go ahead and aggregate data from a table that is by city up to the region where the region is not listed necessarily within the data but the region is listed in kind of this mapping table where I have region and city mapped. And I was able to do that by using the select and select list functions within Quantrix. Well, in order for that to happen in the last episode, what I had to do is I had to bring month over and then I would aggregate it by year by month. But what if I don't want to bring month over and I end up getting this pound size error? How can I aggregate this information up to the year level within Quantrix. Again, if I were to look at my dependency inspector with where I'm having my pound size error, I could look that the value list is 84 items long and my key list, of course, is only seven items long because it's at city. So the difference being is that the data ha is considering the month, my value list is considering month, and my key list is not considering month. So how do I permute or have my city or my key list here consider month within Quantrix? Well, in order to do that, I have to go ahead and I have to say, well, bring back the data at the city. And I want you to also consider the month. And if I were to do this right here, I would get zero. And again, if I were to look at the dependency inspector, I would see that my key list still only has, I would see that my key list actually now has 84 items, but the way that it works is that it's concatenating or it's combining each month with each city. So I have a 1 colon Oak City, 2 colon Oak City, 3 colon Oak City, and so on, right, for all 12 months. So again, my key list is correct in the fact that I have, as far as its size, in the fact that I have 84 items that matches with my value list of 84 items, but I can't look up anything against that because uh, month isn't part of my select list and, and nor does it need to be. So what I need to do is I need to actually silent silence the month. I don't want it to show up in my key list. I just want its value to be permuted, if you will, across all the cities. So how do you silence the month? I simply go ahead and I wrap it in uh, parentheses like this. And once I do that, then month becomes silent. If you look at your key list, it is 84 items and that matches the value list. So you have perfect symmetry there and it eliminates the pound size error. And therefore you are able to perform your select list or your select as I have shown here. Another way that you can write the at silent is simply by going out here and saying equals sum select list. And what do I want to return? I want to return the data forecast. And my key list is going to be at item data city. And I want to silent my data month. So this is kind of a long way to write the at silent function. And then I would do my select city to region map at city and my city to region map region is equal at region here. So again, if I were then to do that, so I've, I've showed you essentially two ways to silence your month across the cities. You can do it kind of the shortcut way using parentheses, or you can use the at item and then the silent functionality function here. I think another example of this is right around episode 296, 297, and 298. I kind of explain this logic as well. So this is a nice thing to have within your toolkit, how to use this silent functionality within Quantrix Modeler. If you have any questions about Quantrix, about its multidimensional awesomeness, or anything, I really do hope that you reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and ask me those questions. And I hope that you'll join me again for another 
episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez because indeed I want to make you a Quantrix master. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.